Hello everyone, uh, we are back with another video. Uh, here we are going to be taking a look at uh, planetary stock trading and uh, specifically uh, the earnings surprise method uh, and the uh, first trade uh, charts. Um, and we are going to be looking at uh, two examples, uh, Carpenter uh, Technology Corporation uh, and uh, UBS. Now these are first uh, trade charts. Uh, they are cast for uh, the. Uh, they are cast for uh, uh, when the stock was first listed on the uh, exchange, uh, which uh, which should be uh, 10 a.m. Uh, before the 30th of uh, September 1985. And if the stock is listed on the exchange after the 30th of September 1985, then we would list it. Uh, 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 at the time of uh, 9 30 uh, a.m and yeah, we would cast the chart for 9 30 a.m now let, let's look here at our example uh, for the earnings report of uh, of carpenter on the uh, 25th of january uh, 2011 and here they announced their earnings uh, before the market open and here we notice a gap down and then the stock pushes uh, down uh, it actually loses about 10% uh, of its uh, value. Let's take a look at transits uh, to see uh, uh, what positions in the sky uh, justify the event. And here we can clearly see uh, the most uh, striking aspect uh, is transiting Saturn right on top of the midheaven. So of course with this transit we would uh, predict uh, a negative uh, earnings uh, report and in our second uh, example uh, we are going to be looking at uh, UBS for their earnings uh, report on the uh, 27th of uh, July uh, 2010 now th th this article was written about uh, 10 years ago but the technique is uh, still uh, valid and what do we notice here is we notice a significant uh, gap up on this uh, date on this earnings uh, report date it's a, it's a massive gap up and if we look at the uh, transits at that moment we notice that uh, Jupiter and Uranus are right on top of the midheaven and these two th these two transits justify uh, a gap up in the price of the uh, stock now th there are many nuances to this uh, uh, technique and of course there are many more uh, aspects to be taken into consideration uh, in my opinion uh, if you're interested in this, uh, please check out Bill's uh, article and books. Uh, but but uh, so, some of the stuff he mentions just uh, don't work. Uh, one technique I found that uh, works very well uh, is actually converse uh, transits, uh, which are transits, which are prenatal transits uh, from the uh, date of the birth. We just uh, select converse transits in Solar Fire and we hit apply, and. Uh, a chart is cast this is just an example and it's a very powerful technique now what I, what I noticed is the most significant uh, area and most sensitive point is actually the midheaven I'm, I'm not I'm not very sure about the ascendant uh, although Bill, Bill does take it into consideration I've seen a lot of failing reports with Jupiter on the ascendant and a lot of positive reports with uh, Saturn on the ascendant so I'm, I'm really not sure uh, also the sun and moon are very important uh, and uh, th there are, there's also the industry planet uh, like if it's a if it's a cos cosmetics company Venus would be very important uh, and so on and so forth uh, and that's it for our video uh, if you have any question uh, uh, please leave a comment um, and uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you very much for uh, watching